Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome to Travel Vlog Jamie. It's day five of my cruise and oh my goodness, I recognize this. We are back in Southampton. Oh yes, it's disembarkation day. Oh my goodness, where to start? Well, start at the very beginning. Don't miss days one to four on MSC Virtuosa. <laughs> Coming up on day five, it's the last supper, I mean breakfast. We have our last breakfast on board. The melancholy sets in as we say our farewells to Virtuosa and my beloved cabin. Mr. Googly Eyes refuses to leave. I'll talk through the disembarkation process for all guests, including the perks for yacht club members. We navigate disembarking the ship. Not to mention what happens to your luggage. I met at the port by the one and only Mafu. Desperado iced coffee time. And the big question, would I sail MSC again? Now then, disembarkation today is going to be a little bit different for me because I'm actually in the yacht club. You know this, don't you? Because this is vlog number five. You've surely seen the others. What do you mean you haven't? Better catch up. Before I head out for a little breakfast, or maybe a lot of breakfast actually, uh, I wanted to show you the disembarkation information. And this applies to all guests outside of the yacht club. So on this particular cruise, disembarkation time is from 7 a.m. I think that's quite usual. Um, if you want to collect your luggage from the cruise terminal, i.e. you're not going to take it off yourself, you need to pop it outside your cabin the night before. I was told to put it out by 11 p.m., but I could see some guests were putting their luggage there a little bit later. But you know, let's be respectful to the crew. If you've registered a debit or credit card to your account, well, that will be settled for you with a, a direct charge to that registered card or payment method. If you're paying by cash, well, there are actually some cruise card activation points, a little bit like ATMs, actually, which are located um, on deck 16 forward. You can actually pay your account uh, via these machines or of course head to reception. Of course if you are leaving your luggage outside your cabin you will be provided with a luggage label. It's really important that you use this because that's how you'll locate your luggage at the cruise terminal. You can of course take your own luggage off the ship. You just need to make sure you're able to actually carry it. Uh, a lot of you bring an awful lot of luggage. I've seen you. You'll also be given a disembarkation time and venue to wait prior to your group being called to disembark. The day before disembarkation, you'll also receive information in your cabin about where you can get your breakfast, which of course is super important. Um, I'm in the yacht club, so I've got the option of top sale lounge and also the yacht club restaurant. Now, as a guest of Yacht Club, things are a teeny weeny bit different. You're not given a disembarkation slot. Essentially, you can disembark between the hour of 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. As I mentioned, the Yacht Club restaurant and Top Cell Lounge will be available to you for your breakfast, refreshments, etc. Um, all they ask is that when you are ready to disembark, that your butler is made aware because they want to escort you off the ship. And I mean that in the nicest possible way. They essentially are gonna help you with your luggage and um, call a lift for you, bypass the other decks. Sorry, everybody. Um, and just make sure that you get off, again, in the nicest possible way. They wanna make sure you've had a great experience from start to finish. Alrighty, it is time for breakfast. Let's do this. If you've watched the other vlogs in this series, you'll know I'm super lucky because my cabin is just around here and the restaurant is just there. Gosh, I'm not getting up my steps like normal, I must say. And welcome again, if you've joined me on this series, to the Yacht Club restaurant and those all important offerings. Very good range of breakfast. Oh my goodness, roll mops and kippers. No, thank you. Blech. What would you order though, folks? Ring the bell to upset Matthew. <laughs> oh, coffee, my old friend. I've had quite a lot of you, haven't I? I've got my eggs over easy. These gorgeous ranchero potatoes, nice and tomato -y and uh, spicy. Brown toast, which is hot, hurrah. And I know my American followers, baked beans. It's what I do, it's what I live for. And there you go, one last breakfast in my beloved Yacht Club restaurant. God bless you all, the staff here are amazing. Well, welcome to smelly old Southampton again, folks. It's like we were only here a few days, oh, we were. A bit of fresh air for me. Don't ever tell me you can't get a lounger. Aha! 
there is absolutely nothing stopping you getting in this pool before you leave by the way there's no nets over it go for it Alrighty, it's time to do my ritualistic farewell to the cabin <laughs> i can't help myself you know what i'm talking about don't you do this bye balcony you are narrow but very long love you bye lounge area i miss having drinks with you already bye leftover pizza crust sorry i couldn't eat you bye coffee machine didn't know how to use you did i but it's all right because i've got coffee delivered every morning bye comfy bed first time i've ever slept on the right hand side shocking bye marble bathroom god i love that shower so much i'm gonna miss you so much bye deluxe suite i'll probably never have one of you ever again miss you come on mr googly eyes we're not gonna cry because it's over we're gonna smile because it happens no smile for goodness sake oh Let's get to that top cell lounge, shall we? Will you hurry up? No, you can't stay, Mr. Googly Eyes. Come on. Bye, everybody. It's the Yacht Club lift. Now, this one only goes between 14 and 19. No 17, because that's very unlucky in Italy. I do believe the top cell lounge is going to be a good place to chill out before disembarking. Oh, and of course, We've got all of our little treats here already. Oh, look, fruit, cheeses, cold cuts, croissant, salmon, bleh. and then of course you've got your pastries as well. Help yourself. Oh, and this is exactly the spot I started my adventure in Yacht Club all those moons ago, four nights ago. Oh, don't mind if I do, thank you very much. By the way, there's another rail strike today. <gasps> so. Mafu is actually going to come and collect me at the terminal. He's going to drive down from Amazingstoke, pick me up, take me to Winchester, and we're going to stay in a hotel there for the night. That's nice, isn't it? So anyway, I'll make sure you see him in a minute. He's probably missed us, hasn't he? Probably. Okay, so just need to let the concierge desk know when you are ready to disembark, and then you're butler is supposed to come and collect you. Funny. I still can't get used to it. <laughs> All right, lovely Franco's got my case and here we go. There's lovely Franco. He's been absolutely amazing. So it looks like we get to bypass the line as well. I am sorry about that everyone. Slightly embarrassed, but hey ho, this is the way it is. Oh, that upset a few people. Sorry, I said sorry. I'm just with me butler. <laughs> See ya, Vitoza. Wow, they literally come all the way off of you. Look at this. The lovely ladies behind me were just saying how naughty it was that we bypassed the line. I mean, what do you want me to do about it? Yacht club, baby. People already getting checked in. And it's only 9am. And there you are. Frank has dropped me off at the luggage store nothing to declare except my soul and there you go back at horizon terminal southampton the cruise capital of the uk right where's that matthew he's here look little matthew look everybody it's matthew hello hello i told everyone they were going to see you yeah. yes get in he's like get in get in and here we go Oh, look, celebrity ship over there. Ice coffee time and those all important reflections. And just like that, I'm home. Washing's done, all drying. Um, so in summary, my yacht club experience, wow. It exceeded all my expectations. From embarkation, which was super speedy, on board by 10 past 10 in the morning, in my cabin by 10.50, wow. The service I received in the Yacht Club was outstanding. Everyone was so friendly, so helpful, and they couldn't do enough for me and certainly the other passengers in Yacht Club uh, that I had the privilege of meeting and having many conversations with. And I was a big fan of the facilities in the Yacht Club as well. Having that exclusive use of the restaurant, the bars, the grill, the pool, etc., was just a godsend. Some people online have questioned whether it's boring. As I always say, it's only boring people who get bored. God, that's deep, isn't it? <laughs> no, I was never bored. I don't get bored at the pool, in hot tubs, by the bar, with food everywhere around me. No, 
does not compute. One of the biggest surprises for me was the food and the quality and quantity of the food. In previous years when I sailed with MSC, I felt it needed a little bit more work. Well, I enjoyed every single meal and course I had on this particular cruise in the Yacht Club and out of the Yacht Club. And also special mention to Ola, the Mexican specialty dining venue. It's absolutely fantastic and brilliant value for money as well. Make sure you go there. Oh, I have to say, I absolutely love the water park on board Virtuosa. It is so much fun. And also because I sailed out of school time, uh, there were far fewer young people on board. I'm not young anymore. Uh, and I just literally walked onto every slide without having to wait in line at all. Superb. I've never paid to watch a show on a cruise ship until now. I went to see Achedreth and it was stunning. It was very much like Cirque du Soleil. Um, the performers were fantastic. I really enjoyed that. So you won me over with a paid performance MSC. I didn't go into the theatre to watch the unpaid shows just because I've seen some of them before and they weren't quite to my taste, if I'm honest with you. The big question online is, was it busy? Could you get a seat um, at the bars? Well, I have to be honest with you, when I was out and about, it was definitely busy and I struggled to get a seat at a couple of the bars on occasion, as you'll have seen uh, throughout my vlogs. Having said this, I was always able to find a seat at another bar. So if you don't get the one you want, don't give up hope, don't start huffing and puffing, running around with your arms in the air like you just don't care. There's always a bar with seating. I'm absolutely certain of this. Of course, I was very fortunate if things felt a little bit too busy for me, I could always go back to the Yacht Club and enjoy the Top Sail Lounge. You know, they had entertainment there in the evenings as well. Um, so it was very, very nice indeed. Oh, and the views as well, the forward facing views, stunning, especially during sunset. Special mention as well to the crew, in particular, all the staff who looked after me so well in the Yacht Club. Franco, Lily, thank you so much. Everyone on the front desk as well, you were absolutely superb. Uh, this is not a cruise I'll ever forget and you have a massive role in making sure it was the absolute best for me, so thank you. Was it worth the ka -ching? Well, for me, absolutely. I don't regret a single penny of what I spent. However, I was very fortunate in that I uh, engaged in the bidding wars when I received the would you like to bid for an upgrade uh, email. I was successful in that, moving from um, a standard inside interior cabin um, out of Yacht Club, then into Yacht Club, and fortunate like other people actually, uh, who I spoke with on this cruise, who were also given a complimentary upgrade in Yacht Club to um, a suite or a deluxe suite. Yeah, very fortunate. So I didn't actually spend nearly as much money as some of you think I did. There's always a deal to be had. And if you are able to bid for an upgrade, I would absolutely recommend it. I actually put in the lowest amount and was successful. You never know. I know some of you are gonna be saying, oh, but you were in the Yacht Club, so you didn't experience the real cruise. Well, this is what I paid for, so that's what I am talking about and reviewing. I will be back on MSC, having said that, in the spring for a fly cruise. I have opted for uh, a standard inside cabin, uh, not in the Yacht Club. Will I get a chance, uh, an opportunity to bid for an upgrade? I don't know, um, but I'll tell you one thing, I'm looking forward to it very much based on my recent experience. Thank you all for your continued support and please don't forget to subscribe. Today's shout outs for my patrons. You can become a patron at patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. It really is that simple. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on X, Threads, Instagram, Patreon and YouTube.